All right, everyone. Uh, don't mind me having a quick sip of coffee and the, the huge plane flying past. So it's Friday. It's 21st of July. Brian Setzer has got a brand new track out and that after all these years, that's always something to celebrate, I think. Um, so this new track then, Girl on the Billboard, I've only heard it once. I got up this morning and I was like, oh yeah, he's got a new track out. Let's have a listen to it. So I've listened to it once and I'm now going to try and break it down uh, over this lesson. Okay, so don't be surprised if there's a few little stops and starts. So I'll do my best to get this all sorted with the solo as well. Um, it will be on YouTube and Patreon and I'll try and get a tab sorted for you guys on Patreon as well for the solo. Um, please like and subscribe if you're not on Patreon then you know go and have a little look you, there might be some cool stuff in there that you like um, obviously I've, you know you know, if you've seen what I do you know I'm a big sets of fan there's a lot of sets or ideas on Patreon same as YouTube, uh, YouTube there's loads of free stuff on there as well okay so right anyway let's get cracking then so this new track it's pretty good I like it it's uh, in the key of E it starts off, it's got sort of like, when I first the, heard the opening lick, I thought, oh yeah, it's that's like your typical sort of a setzer type thing, doing this sort of... You know, he does that on quite a few tracks. Uh, then I noticed once I picked up a guitar, I had a quick listen and worked out the first bit. It's actually slightly different. It's a lot straighter. There's no sort of bends in there. It's just like it's dead on the E pentatonic. So you're just doing fret three on strings one and two. Three three oh three 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 oh yeah, and then so on that last open you can sort of hit the E chord with it as well. So you've got something like yeah. So you got the threes in the opens and you hit the E chord and just like let it ring out. Um, from what I can hear, I don't think it's like a set thing, you know, oh, on the second beat of every bar, I have to strum this part here. I think it's quite loose. I think he's just sort of jamming it out. And you've got that cool tremolo effect on there as well, which is really nice. Um, so, which is nice, but at the same time, it's also sometimes makes it hard to work out exactly what's going on. So anyway, that's your first bit. That's your intro. So... <laughs> Okay, after that, the verse, it's an E, and you just go in, you know, two to four on string five, open on string six, your classic sort of, you know. Um, so we've got that going on for a little bit, and then it moves to the five chord, which is the B. But on most of the changes, uh, the other guitar on the track does a little lick on the change. Yeah, so that's just like going 4-2 on string 4, then fret 4 on string 5, two little bends, then fret 2 on string 5, then hit that B chord, you know, fret 2, fret 4, cross strings 2, 3, 4, so you got... Okay, so you know that there, um, the fret four on string five, you know, that sort of that little semitone bend, you know, it's just bending to like the minor third of B, isn't it? Okay, so it hangs on the B, the five chord, for a little bit. Then it goes back to E again. And it does the same lick, but in E. So you go. So you got 2-0 on string 5, fret 2 on string 6 twice, and then the open, and then you just let that E ring out with the uh, the tremolo on. Okay, after that, it hangs on the E a bit, then it goes to A, which is your 4 chord. So, does the same again on that other guitar. String four, two to zero, then string five, fret two twice, do two little bends, then open, and let the chord ring out. Then back to E one more time. And then right at the end, it goes to the five called the B, but very brief, I think it's maybe it's just like half a bar or something. 
um, and then back to the E again, then you're back into the riff. <laughs> Does that riff twice? That sorry, that lick twice. Then goes through the whole chord progression again. Uh, then it kicks into a solo, which I'm now going to work out and uh, sh hopefully show you how to do that and get a tab sorted, get it on Patreon, and we'll be sorted. Right. See you in a second. <laughs> Okay, it's good. So what we've got then, I've uh, had a little listen and tried to break it down. So what we have then, we are going to be doing, it's the same bit to start off with. You've got fret three, strings one and two. It's the same as the, uh, the main lick, okay? But then the second time he changes it slightly. Okay, so what we do then, we're still doing an E basically, you know, but we're doing fret seven on string one, and fret eight on string two. Yeah, uh, we're just look, we're just bending it a little bit, you know, just being a bit cheeky with it. So two bends up and then like an open, and then another two bends. You know, it's not particularly bending a semitone; it's just going up a little bit to give it that little, you know, that feel. So, and then we end up with, it goes back to um, the E again here, fret four and fret five, strings one and two. Yeah. Hit the E string. And then it sounds like you're just like a little, um, like a little, um, you know, just like sliding down the E string and then just like alternate picking with your, your picking hand. Okay, so after that then, it's it goes back to the main lick again. Yeah, just the threes and the O's again, no different. But then it goes to the A chord down here, you know, just put your first finger over fret two, with strings two, three, four. Then same lick again. Hit the E again, okay? After that, we do the same lick again. But then it goes to the B7, which is just bar fret two from strings one to five. Hold down fret four on string two, fret four on string four. You'll have that B. And he just sort of strums across that one. Then back to the same one again. Okay, so that's the first half of the solo. Okay, so what we have next then, it's going to go a bit higher again. So it's going to go seven and eight again. So we're going to do the same thing again, seven, eight little bends with them. Put the opening after the second little bend. And then if you go to nine on string two, open on string one, let those ring out and then just you know, throw some E in there with that tremolo going. It's just pretty cool. Okay, um, then we move higher. Okay, so it's just the pentatonic again, isn't it? But it's fret 15 on strings one and two to fret 12. Yeah, so 15, fret 12, and 15, 12 again. And then you put in uh, fret 13 on string three. So you're just playing like the top end of an E major there, aren't you? So there's a couple little bits in there. Really hard to hear, but I'm 
pretty sure that's going on in there. Whether it's the same guitar, there's another guitar, I don't know, but it sounds like it could be the same guitar and he's just sort of got it sort of overlapping slightly. So after that 15 and 12 then. And then you do 12 on string four. He's got like it's going like 12, 12, 12, 12. Whether he's picking that four times or it's just the the trumpet going eh, 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 eh. Da, 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 da. and then you can hear a 12 on string five as well and it sounds like he slides it but he must be hitting the 15s again at the same time okay so that sort of thing after that then um we go to the a chord and we do the 15 12s again but we move to like an a7 you know up here so you got 12 on string one 14 on string two and 12 on string three okay so then back to the same one again that previous one we had you know the 15s the 12s 15 12s then you land on the 12 on strings one two and fret 13 on string three okay now slight change on this one okay now that is over the B so that's quite a cool lick again because it changes ever so slightly so he's got this sort of motif um, catch little bit repeating but then the bits in between change ever so slightly which is kind of cool so that is just fret 14, double stops, fret 14 on strings two and three, then 12 on string two, 13 on string three, drop it down to tone again. So you now have 10 on string two and 11 on string three. Okay, the last lick then. Same as before, no change. But they're going to put some uh, some little learnies in there. So fret 14 on string three and 15 on string two. Yeah. And just do like a full bend on string three there. Okay, so you once you bring that 14 down, Go 14, 12, 14, 12. Okay, and then 14, 12 on string four. And then that last little bit, we're gonna do 12 to 14 slide on string five. And then 12 on string four. Back to 14 on string five and then 10, 11 on string five. You can slide into that. Okay, because that goes back to E. Okay, so you slide into like the third of the, the E major, you know, one, two, three, which is quite a nice little lick, so it doesn't just land straight on, on E. Okay, so that is the solo. Um, uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's a cool track. Uh, like I said, um, I've just tried to do this as best as I can. It's it's literally just come out today. I've only heard it about three times. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. And uh, please like, subscribe and check out Patreon. Uh, there's loads more lessons to come as always. Thank you guys. Take it easy.